my first brokers told me, no doesn't mean no. It just means not right now, right? No doesn't mean no, it just means not right now. What was he telling me? What was he telling me way back then? Way back then, he was telling me, Growing up, my dad was, you know what I mean? Like, he owned his own roofing business. My mom owned a hair salon, and I could like sit back and watch them be business owners, but they were also like the practitioners. They were actually the workers of the business as well. So I like watched my mom and dad own businesses from a business owner point of view, and I watched them actually put the work in behind owning the business. So that was pretty influential growing up and to watch them own their own and run their own businesses. Now my dad taught me several things, right? He had these little sayings. One was, you know, these little things stuck with me, right? Like one thing that he talked about was, the hurrieder I go, the behinder I get, right? Think about it, the hurrieder I go, the behinder I get. Right? That's something that really stuck with me. It's not like, oh, don't go fast, right? It's not like don't go fast, but it's just saying, hey, pay attention because sometimes you go so fast that you're not thinking about what you're doing and really end up going backwards. You know what I mean? And put yourself in a situation because it's not only work fast and, and hard, but, but also smart. But then you can't say, you can't chalk up being lazy as just working smart either. You gotta work smart and hard. You gotta combine the two and you gotta find the perfect balance between the two. That's what that means. He also said this, bro, this is very profit. Like this, this, this one, he said, never quit a job. Just add to it. Never quit a job, just add to it. Which means what? Which means what? Get a second job. Right? Get a second job, right? So, 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 like, my whole life was based on don't quit a job, just add to it. Okay, so if you look at my life and my, my career and how my, like, the, the whole thing has went down, dude, I was roofing houses and during the day and serving tables at night. I was working on oil rig one week on, one week off, and then trying to get back in real estate during my weeks off. Right now, look at what I'm doing. I'm a real estate agent by day and real estate coach by night. You know what I mean? Like, I'm always wearing two hats at all times because I'm always trying to add to my job, right? I'm always trying to figure out what, and so, so here's the thing, like say you're working at like McDonald's, for example, or like one of these, you're just at the very bottom, you're working fast food or something like that. What you do is you take that job and you say, okay, I'm gonna be the very best in the world at whatever that job is that you have at that fast food joint, whether it's the burger station, whether it's the line taking the orders, whatever it is, I'm gonna be the best. I'm gonna go above and beyond to be the best in the world at that. As I'm training myself to be the best in the world at this, I'm simultaneously looking for something better. I'm not gonna quit this until I have something better locked in. Then I can transition to, and I'm always stair-stepping up. It's like, this is, this is my career, like this. This is how it looks, right? I'm always doing like this and I never lose ground because whatever I gain, that's like with real estate. I got up to a million dollars and then I quit prospecting and building my business, but I've maintained the million dollars. I'm not going backwards and so there I go. And now I'm doing the coaching. So the, so the real estate's still here and I'm here. Now I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep stepping it up. I'm gonna become like a world-renowned speaker and stuff like that, you know? Like I'm always gonna be stepping it up to the next level. So as far as influential people and coaches and mentors, you know, that was some, one of my first brokers told me, no doesn't mean no. It just means not right now, right? No doesn't mean no, it just means not right now. Now, what was he telling me? What was he telling me way back then? Way back then, he was telling me relationships over transactions without saying it. Let, think about it. When a prospect tells you no, it doesn't mean no, it just means not right now. What is he telling you? Build the relationship for later when they do decide they wanna do something. See what I'm saying? And, and I'll, I'll leave you with this, I'll leave you with another one. My second broker said, Ricky, if you'll treat real estate like a job, it'll be the best paying job you ever had. And what he means by that is, you know, when you have a job, you clock in and clock out for eight hours a day. You know, and if you treat real estate the same way, whereas you clock in and you have to be super productive for eight hours straight, if your boss catches you slacking, you're gonna get in trouble, 
and you, you have to stay busy, stay grinding, stay producing for eight hours, it's gonna be the best paying job that you ever had. You know what I mean? So outside of that, bro, outside of those little sayings that I learned through the process, I watched agents, I didn't have like one mentor, I would watch top agents and I would watch their behaviors, I would watch how they move, I would watch what they say, I would watch how they sell, I would watch their production, and I, I learned the benchmarks. I'm going to find the benchmarks. I'm going to find whatever the benchmarks are that I need to hit to become the best in the world at whatever I'm doing. This is what means something, man. You focusing on only you, not looking at anybody else, not comparing yourself to anybody else. I don't even know what my competition is doing right now. I have no idea what they're up to. I'm so focused right here trying to help as many people as I can help. What you need to do is the same thing. You need to sit in a dark room <laughs> with the lights off and, and the dialer running for hours on end until your ears bleed, building your database, putting your business together. And then I'll tell you what's gonna happen, Ron. You're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna say, you know what, I have outgrown my brokerage. Like, I don't, I'm not learning anything here. They're, I'm just not getting the value. I'm paying too much in fees, whatever. And then you're gonna have this huge pressure on your shoulders and you're gonna wanna move somewhere that's, you know, costs less and gives you more value kind of thing. That's what's gonna happen. So until you feel that pressure, Stay where you are, don't care about anything, build your business, and it will come.